Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Eddie Daniels of Pure White Lens Photography. And what I'm going to be doing here is showing you guys my edit process of this headshot here. Um, first off, I want to say that this photo was not taken by myself. It was actually taken by her husband, uh, Christopher Elliott, um, which is you know one of my partners of Pure White Lens Photography. And I want to say first that this guy off the rip did an amazing job just taking the photo itself. Um, so I'm just going to be the one editing it, retouching it, um, or whatever else. So what I'm going to do here um, is first I'm going to take in uh, this tool here and get rid of any of the small bumps that you see or any of the blemishes. Just want to get rid of um, those things there. That's, that's going to help create um, you know, her a, a nice smooth face. <clears throat> Trying to give her a little bit of a model look. <laughs> um, and get rid of the little hair that you see um, going uh, towards her eyebrow too, as well. <clears throat> this video, uh, I decided to just do this video also to show you guys a little bit of, you know, uh, how much it, it, you know, takes us to edit these photos. You know, a lot, I know a lot of people, they you know, they think that, you know, photographers, you know, they don't do much or um, they charge too much money or whatever the case may be. But um, as you can see, this right here is really, really tedious and it actually takes um, quite some time to do. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, editing in three different programs because sometimes that's what I decide to do, depending on the photo that I am editing. So this right here is light roll, get rid of the spots that's on her face. And once I'm done with that, um, then I'll move on to the next step. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Gotta zoom in on her face and stuff too, uh, so I can see those things. So now that's what you get so far. Uh, <clears throat> just gonna mess a little bit with, uh, let me see first. Uh, the darks a little bit. We're gonna move it just a tad. Enhance that just a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to see about the clarity. What that's gonna do is that's gonna enhance the texture for hair just a bit. I don't wanna go too crazy with it. Um, <clears throat> once again, this photo was uh, taken by Christopher Elliott and uh, he did an amazing job. If I can do minimum editing, uh, that's, that's even better than having to do something from scratch. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna do like this, gonna move this a little bit. I'm just trying to get the lighting and everything situated as far as the shadows and, and everything. <clears throat> Once this thing is, uh, you know, to my liking, then I'll move on to uh, Photoshop. See, I don't have to do much. Um, not with this photo, at least. Uh, Chris, Chris did a great job uh, delivering uh, a great image out of camera, so less work for me to do. Okay. So you know, what I'm going to do is now I have a preset that I do on the eyes. All this is doing is, is it's just giving them a little bit of a, a little extra pop on our eyes. Well, he already used an highlighter to light her eyes and to give her this um, glamour look. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to uh, give it a, a little bit of a punch. Nice. <clears throat> so my next step after this would normally be um, smoothing and uh, done with the, the face. But she looks pretty good as is. I'm going to do that still, but just in a different program. Okay, so in this program, one of my, my, my last step is going to be, I have a preset here 
It's for uh, smoothing and sharpening of the skin. And you'll see uh, it gives it a little bit of a, a punch on the skin. I'll show you guys that one. So now let's, uh, let's go into uh, Photoshop. We're gonna use the, the same, uh, uh, the presets and everything that I used in this program. I'm going to carry it over into Photoshop so I don't use any of the work that I already did. So now I have an action here um, that was created that I want to go into. It's a preset. And it's going to deal with her hair. So I, when you took the photo, you know, even though her hair was laid, as you would say, if you look closely, uh, which I'll show you, on the backdrop, you see her hair is kind of, you know, standing up. And you don't want that in the final edit. So I use the photo stamp with my preset and I copy the backdrop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase or paint over or clone or um, whatever word you like to use and get rid of the hair, the excess hair. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> getting rid of all the hair really fast. And as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. Pretty great job, actually, getting rid of the access hair. As you can see, um, I'm actually, you probably can't see, but I'm just gonna let you know I'm speeding some of this up just a tad. Because it's actually taking me a little bit longer because I have to be a little, um, I have to critique it a little more, so I have to slow down and stuff like that. So as you can see, it takes us quite some time to get these edits done. But there you are. So what I'm going to do now is I, that's all I want to do with this program for. I'm going to export it now. So like I said, I can actually do all of what I need to do in one program. But certain ones I like better than the other. I could have did my highlights and my shadows, my dodging and burning. I could have did in this program Photoshop. I could have did um, all of my colorations and I could have did everything. But I like Portrait Pro when it comes down to retouching up the skin and dealing with highlights and um, eyeshadow and all that different type of stuff. So what happens is. When you load this, it detects your face, your features. Every feature, your eye, eyebrows, and everything. But what it does is it, um, you have to fix it because it doesn't detect it correctly every time. So what I'm doing here is I'm fixing it. I'm uh, making sure the mouth is uh, correct. When it, uh, so when I go to edit and maybe enhance lipstick, it doesn't um, do the wrong spot. So the eyebrows, I have to re-sculpt. Um, the face, the way they did the face, because sometimes they resculpted and everything. So what you see on the right is um, a preset edit of what they thought I might want to see at the end result. So I'm going to take everything off because I don't need that. I want to create what it is that I want to create. So I took off the reshaping of the face and everything, and I took off everything else. So here's what I'm doing now. I'm going to do my own thing. We're moving like the marks under her face and, and everything. I mean, her, under her eyes, I'm sorry. I'm gonna add my own smoothness here. And give a little bit of smoothness on the skin some more. Um, I'm gonna go now and handle some other things as far as eyeshadows and everything like that. So this program is amazing. You can do high shadows, uh, you can do uh, uh, eyeliner, all that different type of stuff. So you go on into the lighting, see how it changes um, where the light is. And when you do this, it kind of helps with you know where your shadows are enhanced. 
and I can adjust that. I can adjust the shadows on the right and on the left, you know, to, to give it the look that I want to see at the end, you know, when it comes down to the end result. Here we go, we the before and after, but, you know, when I click on it. Uh, so I'm just going to do this pretty fast here. Like the lipstick, you can use that just a tad. You know, like I said, you can do everything. You can use lipstick, eyeshadow, blush, all of that. See, 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 and I'm done. And then I'll, I'll save it and go to it so that you can actually see um, the final image.